Hi guys and welcome to my first episode of a little bit of Woodcutter Simulator 2012. Yes, you read correctly. I love so many simulator games. One of the most popular series on my channel is Farming Simulator 2011 and that was really, really popular. It's a really popular game on YouTube as well. I have no idea why there's such a demand for simulator games on there, but I thought I'd add something to the series called Woodcutter Simulator. So I've been playing a little bit. You can go to start a new game. There's a couple of tutorials which are pretty poor, but there's also many different levels. I've only gotten up to the first level and I've been playing for half an hour because it is extremely long, the first mission. It's quite um, tiresome, I have to say. So I'll show you what we have to do right from the start. So we start off with this vehicle. Uh, well, we start off with all the vehicles that we have that aren't crossed out. But this vehicle is the first one that we need to use, which is just, it doesn't even describe what it is. Actually, if we go to here, it says, it's the main vehicle, I guess, said God, the cutter. No, it's called the cutter, sorry. And all you have to do is drive up to a tree with a red cross on it. Not every, You can't cut down every tree. It's only a few that you can cut. So let's go along and find a tree that we can actually cut down. Hopefully there'll be something here. I don't think this tree is able to be cut down. I've cut this one down. Nope. Alrighty. So there was a 2011 version. There we go. This one's got a red cross. There was a 2011 version of this as well, and I don't really think there's been too many differences or updates or anything like that. It's basically pretty much the same game from what I understand, but anyway, I'll tell you what I'm doing right now. So, what we have to do is I'm looking right at the red dot, I mean not the red dot, but the green dot over here, and it's got to be in, the, in this little inner circle. So, basically it is now. We pull up the handbrake, and we press spacebar, and it will start cutting. Now, you can only cut the trees with the red crosses on them because that's just the way the game works, which is okay. And as you can see up, up top, uh, it gave us a little mission briefing, which I can show you right now. Some of the trees glitch out really badly. <laughs> Tree chopped. Nice. So, we have this uh, Venice. This is what we've got at the start. A mission description. So, a few months ago, we entered our wood into tests for a replacement of the most critical foundations of the city of Venice. Our wood passed the first round of laboratory tests, and we are now entering into the real environment test. The construction company now requires another batch of our wood to make a real environment conditions test at the actual construction site in Venice. So I've been doing this for about half an hour, and all I've managed to do is get two trees. Because, I'll show you, uh, let's just close this. So that's just basically how you cut trees down. Now, how, what you have to do after this is you have to get this vehicle, right? And you have to drag this vehicle, if we can see, over to here. And then what we do is we have a truck all the way over here. It's very hard to see now because it's raining, but that was that vehicle, that crane. I don't know if you guys can see it now, but there's that crane. And we get that crane and put the logs onto here. And then we're going to drive to that yellow dot over there all the way on the other side of the map. It's not really that large, this map, but there's about 20 different areas because this is only Venice that we're in right now. Anyway, let's just go get to this guy. As you guys can see, I don't think the car, the truck stopped. It did, finally. Thankfully it did. Sometimes the cars just go, keep on going by themselves and it's funny when you switch vehicles and they just keep on going. It's pretty amusing. But alas, we're going to have to pick this massive log up. In the tutorial, actually, Actually, it might, it might even show... No, not over here, sorry. Over here, we can see the puller. That's what it's called. Pull the trees to the sawmill crane with the puller. And it doesn't actually show over here, but they grab the large side of the tree, the large side of the trunk. So that'll be this one. I usually get this one because it never seems to work for me to get this, but it always falls down if I grab the small end because it doesn't completely fit in there so we're gonna try it on this end because that's what it seems like we have to do but I tried that a bit before and it didn't seem to work so here we go for an epic fail let's just straight his over here on the right is just the different controls for the vehicle each one has different functionality so we have got to like straighten it up so I'm, that's why I'm going really really slowly because you have to straighten everything up and it, if you're going too fast it's not gonna end well at all Okay. Seems good. Seems good so far. Oh, oh, oh. 
All right, that's definitely not going to work out, is it? All right, so what I did just then is I opened that little fork so we can actually grab the tree. I should have done that a bit before. Let's just try it again. So we're going to reverse and we're going that way. No, wrong way. This way. And I think we took the turn way too sharply, didn't we? Yep. See, this is like the most annoying part of the game and it's not fun to watch for you guys, I could imagine. It's, it's so extremely annoying and it, this is the one part of the game that I really, really hate. Like, profusely hate it. So let's try once more. Let's just keep on reversing. Come on, reverse. Also, the, because the game just came out, there are a few bugs with it. The game's crashed on me a few times, so hopefully the developers will patch it. They are German developers, like with all the other simulator games. Okay. There we go. Now we've got to... It seems like we're going good. Oh, someone's calling, and someone picks it up, thankfully. Yeah, that's... Alrighty. Now, that's not really going to work, is it? Nope. It's not going to work at all. But what we can do is we can lift and lower the actual fork. I'll just lift it up as high as I can, and... Hmm, it's not really going to work, is it? We can try reversing once more, and we're going to have to go that way. Try straightening it out once more. And it's not going to... Oh, it might work. No, it's not. Oh, okay. See, as you can see, this is just so freaking annoying. And it's taking me half an hour only to get two logs. So, if... But there is... I'll show you if we go over here. There is another vehicle that you can get, such as a lifter. Which you get once you cut down the logs. But I think you could also probably use the lifter because what's this called the puller is called uh, the puller pulls trees right and then you put the trees into a, like a special machine that cuts it into logs so then you have a lifter and then the lifter um, also has basically the ability to carry logs it, has, it can carry logs but I don't think it can carry trees if it could that'd be amazing but in all the pictures, it shows that you get it. You get the massive tree from the large side. But when I did the two trees, and it worked for me, all I had to do was take the small side. So it can get really confusing. Let's just see which way. I think we've got to go over there. It's really hard to see now with all the uh, rain. I have no idea. There's not really a map. You can't like press M for map, which sucks. Let's just try to straighten this out. Without failing too hard. Straighten it out. Yes, yes, yes. Alrighty, that's that's decent. Okay. So now what we gotta do is we got to lower the thing, the fork. So sometimes it like screws up, and then we close the fork. Uh, let's just press G for lock. I'm not really sure what the lock does, but okay, let's just raise it a little bit. And it didn't grab it. So we're gonna try again. There we go, it's, that might work. No. Let's try once more. I lift it up. Oh, god damn it. As you guys can see, it is impossible. Alright, when all Ooh. else fails and you can't push it, well, you can't pick it up, what you can do is push it as well. So, we're going to try to push it all the way over to where that crane is, and we should be back in a couple of minutes. Hence why it's taking me 40 minutes just to do two logs, or two trees, sorry. It's going to take me a really, really long time. Hopefully we can push it over to where we need it and we don't get stuck. But thankfully there is a reset button if you do get stuck and you can't move, such as right now. So, reset. Alrighty, so we're making some progress now. We're nearly up at the crane right now. We'll get there very, very shortly. We just need to angle it correctly. I think that will suffice. Alrighty, let's just leave this area with this little truck. Try not to push it around too much anymore. And the one cool thing about this as well is the tire tracks. Wherever you go, you can see your own tire tracks, which is quite new to the simulation types of games. I'm not sure if that was in 2011. But what we do now is we can move the crane. They've 
completely nailed the sounds of the crane as well. It sounds so good, so realistic. And it swings around. This is the most fun that I've had so far playing the game, is just using the cranes. But if only that little thing could be fixed somehow, it'd be so much better. Anyway, uh, what we want to do is just move this on top. Just try to get into the center of gravity. Oh, can we get there? I'll just lower it. Maybe we'll oh, lower it, sorry. It looks like we'll have to go back to this truck and push it around a little bit more push it towards the actual crane because we left too much of a distance it shouldn't take too long at all anyway let's push it yeah, that's enough hopefully that's not too much and then all we gotta do is get that truck god damn it's for 45 minutes for just three trees that we haven't even done yet that's just embarrassing so here we go back to the crane we have to move this back Try to get into the center of gravity. We can start lowering it. Okay, push it back. Lower. Oh, oh no, no. Yes, we got it. Success. Then what we do is press O to lift it back up. And because it is lopsided, what we want to do is get that truck first, and then we want the larger side to be up front so we're gonna have to do like a switcheroo over here and it's gonna have to go the other way and then all I'll do is I'll go to that yellow dot show you how you um, place the trees so you complete a mission and then I'll do that eight times but I won't be recording because that's gonna be boring as hell and hopefully you guys will want to see more if you want to see more then make sure you leave a comment that you do uh, hopefully this series will pick up because there seems to be a lot of people that are interested in simulator games for whatever the reason. I just keep on reversing. Try to get into a decent angle. Could be a bit better. But let's go back to that crane. Okay. Now we'll want to lower this. Probably need to move it around this way a little bit. There we go. That's going to be all good. Keep on lowering it. Perfect. Is it? Oh, it's right on that last one, so push it forward a bit, maybe. See, we can move the truck as well, which is not too cool. But, okay, that seems good. Drop that. Go back up. Drive the truck. I'm going to drive it to the other side of the map, which isn't even that large, but... We'll get there very shortly. Thankfully, the I have not had a tree trunk fall off the car as of yet. Because imagine if you got all the way over there, all that hard work, and you had to redo it all over again. I would be like suicidal. Thankfully, there's also like a save function for this game as well. So you can keep on saving it. Because if you couldn't, oh my god, I wouldn't even want to think of it. But so far, this game is proven to be a fair bit of fun, but also can be quite infuriating. But... I look forward to the many different missions because also we get a wood chipping machine and there's many different missions that you can have and use. So as soon as you get to this yellow dot, um, you go back to the cutter and this car, well, as you can see, the tree jumped up to three out of eight and the truck has gone back to its like original spawn point over here. So hopefully you guys have enjoyed the first little episode of my woodcutter simulator series and make sure you stay tuned for more.